Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to discuss how to write a long essay on survey. This is the last part in the survey and surveying topic. And here I am trying to include the titles to be written for a long essay. The surveying can be asked as a long essay or short essay or as a short note for BDS as well as MDS students. Let's discuss how to write a long essay on survey. Okay, so we would like to include introduction, parts of a surveyor, history and development of surveyors, modification of surveyors, Ne surveyor, Jelenko surveyor, survey lines and types of survey lines. These were discussed in the part 1. In part 2, we have discussed purposes of surveyor, the process of surveying in detail, surveying the diagnostic cast, tripoding the cast, surveying of the master cast, path of insertion and factors determine the path of placement and removal. And in the part 3, we will discuss Design of RPD using color coding, review of literature, recent advances, summary, conclusion and finally references. So these are the various titles which should be included in your essay. Okay, to write the answer. So coming to the Design of removal partial denture using color coding. The, these are the armamentarium for survey and design procedures. Here, surveyor, surveying table. These are the surveying tools. This is the polymethane methacrylate powder, colored pencils, pencil sharpener is there, sandpaper, carving instrument, millimeter rule, and calipers. So, this is the armamentary used for survey and design procedures. And during this process, the practitioner determines the most favorable tilt for a dental cast. And completes the tripodization process, places the survey line and accurately marks the desired mechanical undercuts. At this stage, the practitioner is ready to begin the design process. And the completed design will serve as a blueprint for RPD construction. Okay. A consistent color coding system should be used in the RPD design process. And this system which permits the improved communication between the dentist and the dental laboratory technician and generally result in improved laboratory service. And the system uses red, black, blue and brown pencils. Okay, so this is the red, black, blue and brown pencils which are used for surveillance design procedures. And the pencil sharpener and sandpaper should be available to ensure that the lines are crisp and well designed. So what is the red color device? Actually it requires, it denotes a required action. And for the placement of a tripod marks. Okay, so tripod marks can be marked using a red pencil. And it is also used to identify those areas of the teeth and soft tissues that must be prepared, recontoured, or relieved. And for design purposes, the receipts are drawn in solid red. And the surfaces that can be recontoured are outlined in red and filled with evenly spaced diagonal lines. And the soft tissues areas that require relief are outlined in red and accompanied by the word relief. Here, these are the mandibular receipts which are clearly indicated using a red pencil. And these occlusal receipts are located on the left second premolar, the right first premolar and right second premolar and right third molar. Okay. And these are the tripod marks which are uh, marking using red pencil. 
In some situations, it is necessary for the practitioner to reshape the teeth to permit adequate space for the rest. For ease of identification, these areas should be outlined in red and filled with evenly spaced diagonal lines. These are the desired undercuts which are identified in the mandibular arch and it can be marked using a sharply defined red line approximately 2 mm in length. Okay, this one is the undercut marking. Okay. Here the maxillary tooth surfaces which require recontouring are identified and this is accomplished by outlining these areas in red and filling the designated areas with the evenly spaced diagonal lines. And what is the black color denotes? It denotes the survey lines on the teeth and soft tissues and it is also used to enter some information on the base of the cast that include type of tooth replacement, type of clasp or the depth of undercut to be used. And what is the blue color denotes? It denotes those portions of RPD that will be made of acrylic resin. Okay. And it is often used to identify the denture bases and also used to identify the individual tooth replacements such as reinforced acrylic pottings. Here, the outline of the maxillary denture base is drawn using a blue pencil. And the denture bases should be properly extended in, the, in all the directions. Here, using a blue pencil, the outline of each mandibular base is drawn. Okay, so buccal extensions should reach the depth of the vestibule. And the lingual extensions for the tooth bounded areas should follow the arc established by the lingual surface of the remaining teeth. What is the brown color denotes? Actually, it denotes the metallic portions of the partial denture. And it includes all the components of framework that is major connective, minor connective, rest and clasp assembly sets. So, these are denoted by the color brown. Here, the brown, color, brown pencil, which is used to draw the outline of the maxillary major connector and the minor connectors and also max auxiliary components. Here, the mandibular major connector, minor connectors and auxiliary components are outlined using a brown pencil. Here, the lingual bar major connector was selected in this situation. Here, the occlusal view of an alternative maxillary major connector design. This major connector is classified as a complete palette. Okay. Now, the additional cingulum rest siege placed on the left canal. Here, additional cingulum rest siege is placed. Okay. On the left canal. Here, the cast stops are included for distal extension areas of mandibular frameworks. These are, these are the cast stops. It should be solid brown and should be located on relatively horizontal areas of the cast. Here, the maxillary retentive elements are drawn using a brown pencil. For circumferential clasp assemblies, only the terminal third of each retentive arm should enter the undercut. Okay, this is the right lateral view of the completed maxillary design and this is the right lateral view of the completed mandibular design here the left lateral view of the completed maxillary design and left lateral view of the completed mandibular design this is the occlusive view of the completed maxillary design This is the occlusal view of the completed mandibular design. So that is about the design of RPD using color of body. Coming to the next important topic that is the review of literature. This is very important title to be drawn if a long essay is asked. First one is the Sherman Chal. Making a maxillary record base with the dental circle. According to this article, the technique has been described that will allow more intimate contact of a maxillary record base to the tissues and the cast. And a dental surveyor is used to determine a path of insertion that minimizes the amount of undercut to be blocked out. 
According to Nishigawa et al, record days for an edentulous maxillary arch with severe undercuts in the labial aspect of the anterior residual ditch. According to this article, the fabrication of a record base for an edentulous maxillary arch with severe undercuts in the labial aspect of the anterior residual ditch has been described. Here, the use of a surveyor, a record base can be fabricated from autopolymerizing resin without soft lining materials and without blocking out of labial undercut of the stone cast. Next article that is uh, by Say the Chal. Evaluation of cast reorientation on a dental surveyor using three tripod techniques, a survey and in vitro test. Their purpose is to survey different educational levels with regard to their opinions, attitudes and adoption of three selected tripod techniques. Here, the setting, here setting the path of insertion and the lateral tilt to a control angle of 10 degrees in both directions. These are the study groups, technique A, technique B and technique C. What is technique A? Tissue points. Technique B is code lines and technique C is cemented post. According to this article, they, they, uh, they can be concluded that technique C, that is cemented post technique was more favored among the respondents across all educational levels. According to Lee et al, a laser pointer surveyor is to detect an undercut in FPD preparation. Here, this is the laser pointer which is fixed on a surveyor. Surveyor dramatically exposes undercut areas by projecting a beam of laser light. And the prototype surveyor is Intratec and Dallas. According to this article by uh, Patty et al, two colored dental surveying tool as an Alternative for carbon mark. Here, this is the analyzing road and uh, articulating paper to make the modified surveying tool. Here, the this one is the analyzing road, and these are the articulating papers, and uh, these are the modifying survey, modified survey tools. And this is the picture showing the surveying using red tool. And here, the, this is the picture showing, marking the survey line with the blue tool. Next one is the Ilma Sachal Optical Surveying of Cars for RP. This is the diagrammatic drawing of an optical surveyor. Here, these are the light beams. This is the condenser lens. Okay. And this is the smaller, dense filament type light bulb. This is the vertical rod of the surveyor and then here this is the movable survey table and this is the holding bar and this picture shows the optical survey which is used with a conventional survey. Use of an optical survey of food design of RPD has been described. Both optical and conventional surveys are based on the same principles. Cast is illuminated by parallel light beams which are also parallel to the marker rod. The border of the bright and dark zones indicates the survey line. So that is about the various review of literature. Coming to the recent advances that is lasers. The surveyor dramatically exposes undercut areas by projecting a beam of laser light. And the prototype surveyor is the Intratec and Dallas. Beam of laser light projects vertically downward from the distal end of horizontal arm to serve as the surveying arm. A no visible survey line at the height of contour of the teeth. Laser light is visible only above the height of contour, whereas the undercut below the height of contour is cast in a dark shadow. And these are my references. Here, these are the textbook references. At least five textbook references to be written for a for writing a long essay and five article references these are the article references so total of 10 references minimum 10 references for a attending a long essay that's all for today's lecture thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe my channel for more videos